Hi, good to see you again. I'm John Bagley and I'm the chair of the International Fundraising Consultancy. And this is number 19 in our series of 20 Fundamentals of Fundraising. And this last five in the set are all about the DNA of highly successful non-profit organisations, charities to me and you. So this one is how communication works wonders. You know, if you have a highly successful organisation, chances are you've got a highly successful communications department. But that doesn't depend on just the people in the communications department. That depends on the organisation feeding them the information, the statistics, the stories in particular of the beneficiaries, and all that information that makes it really interesting to be able to get news about the organisation out into the world, to make the media interested in it, to see it as a lively and bright organisation that is going places and doing things and really helping people and fulfilling its mission. But contrary to a lot of people who say that communications just can't be measured, Yes, they can. They can be measured, assessed, evaluated. You can work out how well you're doing in the communications department on looking at both the, the amount of exposure you get for the organisation, looking at what happened in the past, seeing how that's developing and growing, testing what happens if you do this kind of communication or that kind of communication, looking at how you build up on social media, and in particular, social media can be measured because of the interactions, because of the clicks and the likes and all the rest of it, and what comes through at the end of the day to your website, and what comes through to your fundraising platforms like crowdfunding. So there are ways of evaluating communications. But communications is not something just for a, a, a humanities graduate who is at a loose end and wants to work for charities for a little while. It is there for professionals and the best have worked within the media themselves. They've been journalists. They know how journalism works. They haven't just been within charities. Being on the outside, being a journalist, really makes you understand and know how journalists are going to receive the material you send out. It also gives you a lot of links. And it gives you that... Uh, ease of manner when you take journalists out to lunch and that by the way is a great thing to do that's really how you connect up with them and how you begin to get stuff into the press and that isn't just print journalists it's any sort of journalist across the media anyone from commissioning editors to news reporters or whoever and talking about them, I have to say that celebrity involvement is a great thing with communications. Celebrities have such a draw for their supporters and fans and for the media. So if you have celebrities who are patrons, and you should have a whole batch of them, not just one or two, but at least half a dozen, maybe a dozen, then they're available when you want them. You can always find one of them who will help at your event or who will give advice or will open doors for you. So go for it, see how many you can get. Performing well on the media is also a crucial skill, not just for the head of communications, where it should be second nature, but for the CEO and for other people within the organisation when they step forward. The communications department should be the enabling department for this, showing people how to operate, talking to them about what makes an impact, what you should say, perhaps what you shouldn't say. And lastly on communications, it's so important to have a plan for what to do in a crisis situation. At some stage, your organisation will be attacked by the media. It will be run down, it'll be shown to have done something wrong, even if you haven't. And then you need to be able to pull out people quickly who will stand up in the media, who will correct what has been said, who will start that fight back that changes people's attitudes.
because people's attitudes are formed very quickly by the media when they say, ooh, that charity has done this terrible thing. If you can get out there and counter that very quickly, then you'll find that people actually think, oh, no, uh, that wasn't right. This charity is actually a really good one. And some of the best people to get out there are your supporters and your celebrities. People who've known you for a long time and trust you, understand that what you do is great. Okay, that's number 19, How Communications Works Wonders. And the last one in this series, number 20, will be that the organisation has earned our trust. We're going to talk about trust next week. Look forward to seeing you then. Thank you and goodbye.